So I wanted to share what I did for my 3D resin printer. This is a old TV cabinet that I got from the Salvation Army for $30. And I know that you can use tents like this and like that one over there. Um, those are like better part of a hundred bucks, 80 to a hundred bucks. And this works really great. I have this $30 thermostat and the sensors taped to the back. You can see it right there. And then the heater keeps the inside at a certain temperature, which is good for these resin printers. Um, the resin printers here, if the if the resin isn't between like 68 and 78 degrees or so, uh, it doesn't print well. So by keeping this in here, the other thing, I got these in here uh, because I've noticed that the alcohol rinse, when you're renting your, rinsing your print, uh, if it's cold, it, it doesn't rinse it off right. It kind of makes it tacky afterward. So I just put them all in here and for $30 plus a little heater and a, a thermostat it does good um let me turn this on and show you guys in here there's the heater back there and and somebody was saying i should coat it with fireproofing and you know what this heater doesn't produce a ton of heat like i can touch the front of it and i can keep my hand on it and it isn't even hot to the touch so uh I didn't really have a problem uh, with not treating or coating the inside, but you know I'm uh, not advising not to. Uh, you know, approach with caution whenever you're using heated enclosures. So anyway, I just thought I would share this this cabinet, and you can see I keep my resin up there. There's the empty resin bottles, some stuff I've printed, and there's even storage down here. And I keep uh, some of the extra equipment and gear down there. So anyway, this is a $30 enclosure. I think that was like a $15 light that I bought on Amazon. So anyway, just thought I'd share that.